Al-Mutakabbir, the dominant one, the one who is clear from the attributes of the creatures and from resembling them. Al-Mutakabbir means the supremely great one. He is exalted far above all creation. He has the rights and privileges and attributes that others don't have. He is truly great and manifests his greatness in all things and many ways. Allah calls himself Al-Mutakabbir, the supremely great, the perfection of greatness on one occasion in the Quran. He is the one who is supremely great. Al-Mutakabbir reveals his greatness and power at every moment and in every incident. The supreme, the possessor of all rights, the perfect greatness. Mutakabbi comes from the root of Bara, which has three main meanings. The first main meaning is to be great in size, rank, or dignity, and the second to be great in age and in learning. The third main meaning to have rights, privileges, and attributes that others don't have. This root appears 161 times in the Quran in 18 derived forms. Examples of these forms are Kabura, Hard, Yastak, Biruna, Arrogant. Akbaru is greater and Al Kibari the old age. Linguistically, Kibriya means greatness and sovereignty, and it encompasses the meanings of the perfection of oneself and existence. Nobody can be described as such except sorry, as such except Allah. Allah Akbar Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest, comes from the same root as well as the name of Allah, Al-Kabir, Al-Mutakabir is the one who possesses all greatness, who is above having any of the qualities of his creations, creatures, who cannot be harmed by the oppressors among his creation and whose greatness and pride are the utmost. Al-Mutakabir himself says he is Allah, other than whom there is no deity, the sovereign, the pure, the perfection, the bestower of faith, the overseer, the exalted in might, the compeller, the superior, exalted is Allah, above whatever they associate with him, Al-Quran. Allah Al-Mutakabir versus the arrogant. Allah Azawajal describes people as Mutakabbirin, arrogant on multiple occasions in the Quran. They have arrogance in their hearts and actions towards Allah by disbelieving in His signs. And they are arrogant to other people by looking down on them due to position, race, wealth, etc. The Prophet said, Allah is beautiful and loves beauty. Arrogance is rejecting the truth and looking down on people. Muslim and Al-Tirmizi. Only Allah is al mutakabbir in a positive sense a lesson on how to battle pride what is the opposite of kibr arrogance it is humility the adornment of a believer abu huraira radhi anhu narrated that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said and no one will exercise humility for allah's sake except that Allah will raise him up Muslim. Urwa ibn Zubair radiallahu anhu said, I saw Umar carrying a large leather water canteen on his shoulder. I said to him, Oh, Amirul, Amirul Mumini, you shouldn't be carrying that. Umar replied by saying, A delegation came to Medina and I saw their obedience to me and and some Nakwa entered into my heart and I wanted to destroy it. We all know of the strong personality of Umar and yet when a small amount of pride Nakwa entered into his heart, he hurried in an attempt to destroy it before it destroyed him. How can you live by this name? But be great by being humble, O you. Be great by being humble, O oh, you who believe whoever of you should reward from his religion. Allah will bring both a, pe- a people he will love and who will love him, who are humble towards the believers and powerful against the disbelievers. Al-Quran The greatest strength that you can attain is to have true reliance upon Allah Azawajal and to seek his support in hardship and ease. The highest level of greatness you can attain is to show humility tawada to your Lord. Those who are well grounded in knowledge 
say we believe in it it is all from our lord none will take heed except the people of understanding quran don't only follow the ayat or hadith that suit you but strive to apply the whole message to your daily life and dealing second respect others for the sake of allah o you who have believed let not a people ridicule in other people perhaps they may be better than them nor let women ridicule other women perhaps they may be better than them alquran your knowledge of others is only by perception don't mock or insult others as they might have a higher position with mm, al mutakabbir than yourself respect others even though they may possess less beauty knowledge wealth fame or status or have a different skin color the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever possesses an atom's weight of kibr will not enter into the paradise al muslim abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said let not any muslim be little in order muslim for the lowest of the muslims is great in sight of allah third battle arrogance Allah Azawajal is the only true king and you are his slave let's not forget this it's easy to fall into arrogance the kabur thinking you know better and transgressing the limits set by Allah al mutakabbir so keep checking your heart for feelings of arrogance creeping in and deal with them straight away by reminding yourself of the greatness of Allah Al Hasan Al Basri said I wonder at the son of Adam he uses his hand to wash himself from his waist once or twice a day yet he seeks to compete with the Al Almighty don't get carried away with your wealth or achievements no it is from Al Mutakabbir and not from yourself the way to avoid arrogance is to remember Allah as much as we can until it becomes a habit to instantly thank him for any good that comes our way so increase in saying alhamdulillah fourth be humble to increase your knowledge abdullah ibn mutaz uh, abdullah ibn mutaz radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said the humble student is the one who gets the most knowledge just as the low uh, as the lowest places on earth collect the most water mm, so always be humble towards your teachers and invoke allah for them ask al mutakabbir every day ask allah al mutakabbir to save you and protect you from the evil of pride and arrogance oh allah al mutakabbir we know that you are supremely great guide our hearts and actions to humility towards you our deen and your creation protect us from arrogance and assist us to ways to cure any arrogance that entered our heart make us of those who are blessed to witness your grandeur in paradise i mean and allah knows best al mutakabbir is extremely great the perfection of greatness superior the majestic notes have been taken from uh, al bayana um, by numan al khan